Whitney speaking. Just checking that you're still keen on it. Yes, absolutely. Oh my god. Okay, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is all. Oh, this is so exciting. Well, when do you want us to move it? Thanks, heaps. What? <laughs> Okay, so he wants to know as soon as we get the house. I wanted to wait for him and get his reaction, but he wants to know, so I'm gonna ring him. We've got the house. Fuck you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. We got the house. Oh no, yay. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Ringing Michaela. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Good, thank you. I just wanted to tell you something. We're moving. Yay, did you actually get the house? I actually got the house. Oh my god! I know. <laughs> we'll be moving. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What is up? And welcome to my moving vlog. What the actual heck? What is going on with my life? As you guys would have seen, the clips of me telling my two sisters and Casper that I'm we're moving. We're all pretty pretty excited. Currently the fifth of March, so we're starting the new month off strong. We are actually moving, and we're moving town. So as you can see in the back, I just got some bags because I want to do the rubbish bags over the clothes. I just feel like it's going to be the easiest and best way to transport all of my clothes because I do have a lot. I do want to go through and declutter a bit so that may happen. I'm hoping that it will happen. And then I also got some bubble wrap because I have a lot of decor, a lot of glass that I do not want to be broken. So I'm going to go and start packing once I finish work. So excited and so nervous. And I want to keep this short just because I'm on a break. We are relocating and I am moving in with my partner. Now my partner and I have not been together for that long at all but when you know you know i just feel so right about this decision and i adore that man with all my heart i just know that this is going to be the start to a really great future property does allow animals as well so i am moving with lucky and luna which i'm so nervous so excited about the house is absolutely beautiful i will probably do an empty house tour at some stage but i'm not entirely too sure when that will be i know that i never did like a fully furnished tour of this house but potentially if i do move back into this house uh, it will be a completely different story. <laughs> so I would introduce the vlog. I have started packing, but you guys will come along with the packing process, maybe the decluttering process if I do end up decluttering my clothes, and just all the highs and lows. I wish I filmed all of the emotional roller coaster that I went through today. I have gone through happy, sad, mad, disappointment, excitement, all of the above. All in all, I am so happy to be saying we are moving. Our moving date, guys, 22nd of March. That is two Fridays from now. Two Fridays from now? Two Fridays from this Friday? I don't know. Three Fridays from now? But it is just so close. We're moving this month and we literally applied for a house on Friday, which was the 2nd of March, I think. Crazy stuff! We're moving! I just tried to get some more black bags that I got earlier today. There's none in stock. They were like a dollar fifty for 10 bags, so I can understand it. Guys, it is currently the 6th of March and it's my second day of like packing. I'm probably not going to do a whole bunch of packing today. I'm going to do more of like a decluttering of my wardrobe and I need to be absolutely so brutal with myself. I also had the property manager that's going to manage my property come over today, which is super exciting. Really happy to kind of get the ball rolling in that. Kind of in go, go, go. Let's declutter. I couldn't find anywhere else to put you, so you're going there. First thing... I think what I need to do is like just think really realistically if I'm gonna wear it, when was the last time I wore it, what am I gonna wear it with, where am I gonna wear it to. I'm gonna put it on this so that I can just see it cardigan. I think I love the look of it but I personally probably haven't worn it in such a long time. This is a beautiful dress that I love wearing to work so I'm gonna keep that. Same with this green dress, love wearing it to work, a nice dress. I think I'm gonna try and keep as much work stuff as possible because I love going 
going to the office and looking really well um but i just don't go enough i used to love i kind of just think it's a weird ribbed material now and i've got multiple tops that are kind of the same work 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 this i'm honestly just not vibing anymore with these definitely not definitely not definitely not i used to love these a few years ago they're just from posty and they're just such cool like fun flowy pants but i haven't picked them up and we've been in like the perfect kind of in between weather for me to wear them so i feel like they gotta go i feel like i loved these so much when i first got them but I just haven't worn them for a very, very long time. So they gotta go. This is way too short for me. Gotta go. that one piece of clothing that you randomly think about and you're like where did that go oh, i really liked that that was me when i was clearing out my wardrobe there is a specific like tank top i don't know that my friend gave me that i fell in love with and i used to wear it all the time and now i have no idea where it is it could be in the washing but i didn't see it when i hung it out so and i've literally just cleaned everything so unless it's in these gray ones which i didn't clean today it's gone so love that for me i just gave away a whole bunch of stuff so i'm really really hoping that it's not in there i feel so good about this progress i don't know if you can see it but all of these back here besides my onesies are all my dresses and then along here i've got like stuff like pants and stuff skirts that were hung up i've got my baby tees and then regular tees and then here i've got long sleeves then i've got crew neck and this little bit i just have everything work wise very very impressed and very happy i managed to get like a decent amount gone like not as much as i was anticipating all in all that will be so easy to take to the new house and then i will be able to put them on like black bags because that was my intention and then i'll keep them one way and then if i don't wear them then i'll just get rid of them when the next like season comes along i feel very good about that and the fact is, is that i can see the ground which is incredible do you want me to push it yeah you press it two one go okay yeah, press it <gasps> screenshot it we just put our bond down and that means that's the first two weeks of the payment the property paid as well right yay that's officially our home welcome to our house come for a tour so you come in, this is a three bedroom house, and this is the first room, which is gonna be my office. It's actually really big, eh? Like, it's, yeah. it's huge. Coming around, you've got your lounge, and we've got like a little corner seat, I mean a little seat for my reading. A conservatory. I don't know what you're doing at the conservatory. This is like a sunroom, you just chill out in the room. I wish they had a hanging thing to hang out. Yeah, yeah, it's not showing off that roof. And then we've got lots of storage, which is essential. Going to be the spare room. Or oh, we can stick stuff up on the wall. Then this is where the magic happens. <laughs> is this the smallest bedroom? I feel like with Loki. Yeah. I feel like that's the biggest bedroom. Yeah, that one's slightly bigger. That one's bigger. Do we biggest. change where we sleep? We can. I don't know. And then nothing fun. And there, and then this is the bathroom, and I have a bath! I don't know if I'll actually clean myself in it, but it does actually look clean. And okay. then, this is where the kitchen is. I've always wanted one of these kitchens. There's a thing twist off. I don't think it's a twisty off here. Nice looking range food. Wait, this is where we could put like our toaster in there. Toaster and stuff. Oh god. And there's more storage down here. Love it. There's also some more storage behind here. Oh, yeah, this is the Pantry. We've got ample storage, eh? Yeah. I always think about that. Down here, we have got, we've actually got two showers, which is so cool. Shower, and then we've got our laundry room. Our laundry room. Some more storage. Some more storage. This house has got heaps of storage, eh? Actually, so good. Then, just to the back of the house. We just came to measure some 
curtains and stuff. I think that's all we were gonna measure, right? Curtains, yeah. Yeah, just the curtains. But yay, I'm so happy! So it's currently Sunday and I'm sitting on a new couch. Are you joking? I wanna say not even an hour ago, we saw this couch on Facebook and we were literally like, okay, do you think we should go have a look at it? We've been trying to search for a couch for the longest time. Obviously you guys know before we even wanted to move, before I even met Casper, I was like, I really want a new couch. My couch was terrible. So I was like, I really, really want a new couch. So we've been trying high and low, looking at all of these new couches, trying to buy like new, brand new, second hand, things that people were giving away. We saw this couch, within a minute I messaged her, let me come and check it, and within an hour it's in my house. Are you joking? We're gonna have this couch in our new house. By the way, so sorry, it's so messy in here. It matches the color scheme. Obviously the red we won't have, um, we'll just turn it over so it looks like that. And we do also have an ottoman, but we've decided that Luna is no longer going to be able to go on the couch. She'll only be able to go on this ottoman. Um, so we've put the blanket there. There are small problems with it, but overall for a Facebook marketplace find, I am so, so happy and it was a fraction of the price that I was willing to pay to get a new couch. This is the old couch. It is awful so i'm gonna put that on facebook marketplace and literally say for free guys it's officially the week that we move it's officially the week that we pick this house up and move to a different town and i'm so unbelievably nervous so excited i'm so everything in between i rang a hire company to try and get a van turns out i need a box truck not a van so i am going to do the adulting thing i could ring but i'm really nervous because i've rung them twice already i just want to go in maybe i will ring them should i ring them <laughs> okay let's ring them because i don't I... I just don't want to deal with them. So I, I need my emotional support people. We're going to do this together. They're going to be so annoying. I please do not leave a message. Send a text. I love how they say, please do not leave a message. Okay. They asked for a text. They got a text. So at least that way I have done what I said I needed to do. I could have called them back, but she suggested sending them a text. So I'm going to take the easy way out. It's currently Tuesday and I am so nervous about moving. We've decided that we're going to move Saturday instead of Friday. Instead of trying to pr push ourselves so hard on Friday, we do get the keys on Friday, but we're going to bug bomb the house on Friday. I'll chat with you guys when we probably do like actual moving stuff. It is currently Thursday. We get the keys tomorrow and I just genuinely cannot believe that the day is already rolling around. I find it so funny that as soon as I found out that we got the house, I started packing and then it's been a couple of weeks and I haven't really done any more packing. So I am a little bit stressed, but we are picking up a truck. I had a friend that worked for the company and he ended up calling me and ended up changing the cargo van to a box truck. So we're picking that up tomorrow. So excited about, I'm really nervous. I have never like packed anything in a truck. I guess just because I've never done like that big of a trip. When we moved into this house, me and Michaela, we had maybe one or two trailers and two car loads and that was it. I moved it. It was a pretty, solid effort on both of our behalf. I'm gonna take off the magnets. I really, really hope that they don't break. I'm gonna put them in just a Ziploc bag just so that I can zip them up and they don't get loose. Oh, I'm so nervous. These are so like nostalgic. Like even going to places in New Zealand and getting magnets makes me so happy. My mum brought me one from Tonga. I think she went to I think this is either Tonga or Fiji. This one is one of my favorites. It's the one from Rome. My London, my Switzerland, my Pompeii. Holds a special place in my heart. If you know, you know. Look how empty the fridge looks. I don't think I've ever seen it so empty because I've always had magnets on it, but I never realized how many magnets I had. This is a box that's just kind of gonna be like things that we can't necessarily pack away, even like on the day that we're moving and stuff. And I think they deserve a place in there. I've got a whole bunch of boxes that I'm going to start putting my kitchen wear in. I'm gonna start putting all of this sort of stuff in. I've also got my big handy dandy bubble wrap for anything that is glass and just needs that little bit extra protection. Protection. While I was also on my lunch break, I went out and grabbed some, well, this is so bright. Salt lamps are very temperamental when you move. So I brought four new salt lamp bulbs. When they all blow, we have more to put them up on Saturday. So I put that in my little box of goodies. And let's get crack a in with the kitchen. This is the one room other than my like clothes that I've been putting off, but it's time to get it done. Most of the 
kitchen stuff is pretty much put away at this stage. I have another load that once we cook tonight's dinner, I can chuck in and then that will be all washed and ready to kind of transport. I feel like I've done such a good job. There are obviously still things that need to be bubble wrapped that I'm going to deal with later tonight. Just I think once Casper's here to be able to help me. This is looking pretty empty. I have a feeling we might use the air fryer before we leave, so I'll keep that out. And then I'm just going to transport that like as is. All of here is like kind of my hosting stuff. There's quite a lot of glass in here so I'm just waiting to bubble wrap all of that like these are empty all through here is pretty empty I feel like I've done a good job I'm gonna take a little bit of a break I don't know how much more I'm gonna do tonight we do get the keys tomorrow and then move Saturday I'm gonna try and do this trick I have done it before I was low-key tempted to go back to my old YouTube videos to try and find out how I did it but I feel like I didn't film how I did it. So I'm using one of these bags. How do I, how do I do it? In my head, it's so, I know that it's so easy, but in my head, I'm like, this is so complicated when I know that it's not. I feel like you cut a hole. Let's just have a look because otherwise I'm gonna stress myself out. I got so overwhelmed, I couldn't vlog, but I did it. I really hope it doesn't break, but I only put three in at a time. I'm just hoping that I can put more in. Woo! We did it. I'm feeling much better about this room. I'll show you. So that just needs to be loaded in the truck. I need to go through because this is all my active wear. I don't go to the gym enough. I'm not an active girl enough to have this much clothes. So I will sort that out and then hopefully it can just fit in here. I've got no shoes in there. In here, I just have bags in each of these. These normally store my bags. Well, not in use. Essentially, it will come with us. Um, This is the air mattress that we'll be sleeping on when our bed goes in the truck. Those, these need to have the bags, but I've ripped a big chunk out of those. So I think Casper can do them, hopefully. All of my shoes. And then obviously this big mirror. This here is just kind of thing that I could use for more stuff. Like if I need to put little stuff in things, I have that, that option. Otherwise, these are just kind of loose things. I don't really know where to put at the moment. Like I don't have a big enough container to put all of those in. My mirror and then this is all of like my fake flowers and stuff that just need a little bit of extra protection. And then these are all clear. So all of these are empty and then this is just linen because I finally hit a linen cupboard which I'm so excited because it's not going to live in a basket. I'm going to do a really really quick tidy up of the house because I feel like when I tidy and then start moving stuff around again I feel a lot better about it. I have made such a massive progress in here I will show you guys in a second I'm feeling less stressed because I was feeling so overwhelmed I needed to take a deep breath and do it my own way definitely double handled stuff I do know that I'm feeling a lot better about it than I have in the past so I'm very thankful that I did double handle so that now I'm not so stressed this is how this area is looking so far I decided to put it all on the table all under the table and I think it was the best decision for my mental sanity and I feel good about it I knew 100% without a doubt that as soon as I put the bed up here like this, she would be up here. You love sleeping on here, eh? That's the one consistent thing I can say she does when we move. I've also got all of my bed stuff because we're sleeping in an air mattress tonight just so that we can have this in the truck. So I have washed my sheets and washed the mattress protector so that will be all fresh and ready for the new house. There's a few things to do here in this room, um, but I'm feeling very good. It looks very empty and it feels like I'm moving which obviously I am so I just haven't been able to comprehend it's a bigger move than I'm used to and also I'm still working through this process as well I feel like I need to unpack it probably in a another vlog I will unpack it though because this is obviously just moving I know that emotions are part of moving as well but I feel like there should really be a time where I unpack how I feel um and sit in my feelings for a little bit where right now I'm just feeling like Let's go, 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 go. I also cleaned out this area. So there's nothing in here other than some keys or parts of the house. And my jackets that I'll just probably chuck in my car. I'm busting a sweat, you guys. Oh my god. But look behind me. I did all of that myself. Yeah, I know. You're so proud of me, eh? You're so proud of your mama. It's like, put me down, woman. Wait. Good girl. Ready? Get it. <laughs> All of this is bagged up, which I'm so happy about. Up here, I've just got to go through those teddies and see if I actually want them. Um, and I can't reach them. But All of this is clear. I haven't seen this clear in the longest time. One room down. I'm going to shut this particular door so I don't get knocked out. But looking like a mess, but slowly coming together. I just need to wait for Casper to get home to kind of see what I'm going to put in my car. But Dad is here with the truck. Yeah, the truck's arrived. 
Oh yeah, there's stuff in there, oh. sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. It's just the cords wrap around it. Open. <laughs> My prized possessions. Hope they don't break. Oh Jesus, does it just go on that thing? No, no. And then also that was uh, take the air out. The house is looking fairly empty. This is the only bits that we have left, like all of our plants. Some stuff that is not coming with us, but is going to other people's houses. Just did the air mattress. It looks like a legit bed, eh? It sure does. Feels like All the doors that are shut are vacuumed and completely empty. The only thing that we need to take is the mirrors. That's about it. And that stuff is coming tomorrow. And then that stuff, I'm selling that and that's just going to stay with the house. Would you say we had a successful day? Or yeah. evening? You ready for bed, are you? It's well, not sleep. Yeah, it's not sleep time yet. Recharge mode. Recharge mode. 10.43. We've got a bright and early day tomorrow. I've never had it so empty. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> It's officially moving day. Good girl. Yeah. She doesn't want to do it. Oh, wow. She's petrified. Moving day. Yay. Try and get a photo with me and Luke. I shouldn't have been left alone because I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> Everything is so empty. What the hell, guys? Like this is such an emo emotional roller coaster for me, purely for the reason that this is where my life actually began. Like this house was where my life actually start. I really need someone to come back. I'm gonna get so emotional, so sappy. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> gonna be good. I don't know how to feel. The bathroom is like the only thing that has got stuff left in it but that's my oh god I nearly forgot my plan. I cannot forget my magic bamboo or lucky bamboo or whatever it's called. I just gotta go through and take these towels and then obviously the plant and the bath mat. But everything else is actually to clean this bathroom. I've got to take my snake plant and those are our cords from last night. Literally everything is so empty. Taking Lucky a little bit later. I'm just really scared about moving her so I'm gonna do it. The last thing I do tonight. That is all the cleaning products that we're keeping here. And then these I'm giving like back to people or I'm um, giving two people this is how much food we had in our fridge it fat in one little freaking cube what the hell this is obviously staying this is coming with us just need my dad to help us move it someone's ringing me hello what are you getting okay thank you oh my god the way he sounded made me feel like something wrong was happening but he just asked me if i wanted some food we're gonna take the modem as well there's a few like little bits and bobs that we need to properly pack and then i'm gonna come next week the new people don't move in until next weekend so i got most of next week to kind of come and clean and tidy up which is what i'm gonna do we're officially alone for the first time and it's like 6 p.m we took the girls home and lucky's doing so well there they are the lounge is looking like it's bloody ridiculous but i'm happy to be here but we did the kitchen it's all done we even managed to get that in there. I don't know if I mentioned, but the dining table we thought was going to be too small, like, too big, but it fits perfect. It actually does, eh? How are you feeling? It's <laughs> This is our house. Girls are doing good, but we're going to go out with Christine and Logan. I honestly don't know if we're going to unpack anymore, to be honest. I'm pretty tired. And we did good. At least we got the kitchen and we got our beds made. I feel like those are the essential things. Everything is picked up, everything is clean. I did it myself. Everything, all the walls, doors, everything is all clean and it's so empty. But look how nice the shower looks. I'm so happy with that. The big open space is empty. I look like a hot mess, but I think this is, this is a good part of the journey to end the vlog. This is not my last time at the house. It will be Monday, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm dropping the keys off on Thursday. I feel like it's good. It's just gone past 4 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah, I feel like it's a good time to kind of wrap everything up. I'm so glad that I was able to kind of do as much as I could in terms of cleaning the house. And it looks really, really good. I'm really proud of myself. Can't appreciate Casper and my dad enough for helping me. Not only helped me clean inside the house, but they weed eat and 
they mowed the lawn. So entirely grateful for them. So I'm heading back with like very little last bits that I like forgot about. Tomorrow I have to like pick up the rest of the cleaning supplies in case I just want to do like an extra couple of cleaning stuff tomorrow um, while I'm back here having dinner with my nana. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I know I didn't do like a whole lot of unpacking with you guys or packing but I did document the process and everything in between so I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. You will see this week in my life next week um so it's kind of like a little back to front but it's all good thank you for coming along this incredible journey um i can't wait to see what the future holds but i hope you have a good day on that ruby maybe goodbye